Hey everybody, this is Way to Fail, and we are back with more Game Dev Tycoon, where we have just had a kind of a flop with Harold's big day off. It was a game for the youngling, or the, <laughs> excuse me, a game for the gameling Game Boy that sucked and nobody bought it. And we've gone from, I looked at the replay last time, I kept saying we made some money. We've been pouring out money once again, so we do have... Any publishing work? Fantasy Casual, Post-Apocalyptic Action for the Vena, Law Simulation, or, let's see, the Law Simulation for the, oh my god, for the Game Gear? I don't know. See, so yeah, all of those kind of suck, because I'd have to buy the uh, license. Because we have, that's 50,000. So yeah, right now the Game Boy has pretty good stuff dev costs, and it has a good market share. But we've been kind of whiffing lately. And what I need to do is to make a good game here. And now that I have a third employee, it could just be that it's time for me to start trying to churn out some more medium stuff. I'm at 10,000 fans. But medium stuff's expensive, but I don't know if small-time dev is going to make us enough money to break even. So let's see here. Can we research something real quick? Maybe a new topic, because once again, topics are free. I don't have to pay for topics. So I could do Law, Rhythm, Business, or Pirate. Let's get Law. Kind of like we did last time. Never used it. But as soon as that research is done, his bar should be full. And then we can start making games. Maybe they'll, maybe we'll look out and get a new publisher deal. Now, once again, you get penalized for redoing some stuff. So Fantasy Adventure, we stunk up. Prison Simulation, we stunk up. But it sold anyway. So we've been getting fives across the board, man. We've got to get this back in the game. Respawn was our last good thing, and that was a sci-fi RPG from a while ago. We've done RPG, casual, simulation, adventure. It'd be nice if you could specialize a little more than you can in this game, but I think it's time for an action game. So let's... So your, any new publisher deals? It looks like we don't have any, any topic, any genre for the fucking Game Gear for the Nintendo. Rhythm Simulation. Business, any genre. So the publishers are not helping us, so we're just going to develop our own game. I know medium games cost more, but we're going to do this instead of on the Game Boy. We're going to do this on the PC to try and cut a few costs here. And let's see here. Let's not do a action romance, I don't know. Let's do a... Uh, see here. There is... Let's do a horror action game. I don't think that's been done too much by year six of the game industry, but Alley Cat, version 2.0. And let's see here. What is a good horror action scene? Ugh. There's all kinds of things. There's the typical monsters. There's the typical undead. But I think sometimes what we don't look at is uh, just the people that are around us sometimes. So we can just call this Average Joe. Is it a game about dodgeball? I don't know, but Average Joe is a scary, scary guy. And <laughs> Can it be text-based? No, but we're going to do 2D Graphics version 3. We have our new engine, so hopefully that will help boost us a little bit, because if you let your engine slide, you're going to start getting bad reviews, which is what's typical of what's been going here. So horror and action. So we got to we're going to do kind of our bal tricky balancing act. Story and quest, who cares? It's a slasher of a game. But now we can use a gamepad on the PC. So we got gameplay that's up here, an engine that's up here. And our, our tech guy is just going to go to town on this, I think, if I can actually drag people over here. See, so yeah, a tech guy, you have a giant tech advantage. I find myself using tech a little more than design. We're gonna go. We're gonna give this a good, solid engine and some good gameplay too. Story can suck it for now. I will keep linear story in there just because we we like horror games to have a story or something. So let's see how we're we doing. We're already putting in a few more pips with our tiny ass medium game. That's not gonna sell a ton, but hopefully it'll do some good for us because we need to turn this boat around because we're already we're already crashing and burning real fast here for the money. So let's see here. Dialogues. Uh, take off every zig. That's that's what we want here. And AI is going to be good for this. Level design, eh, eh, I don't know. We'll see how that plays out. But better AI, level editor. I'm not going to put in better dialogues, but I do want those two things. It's the PC. Why not have it uh, 
some kind of level design here. So we have a lot of tech people. I'm actually really am yearning for a design person a little bit, but let's go ahead and put you on the AI. And level design, that can be me. We'll save Lorraine for something here in a little bit. Because her design skills are going to be useful by the end of this. In fact, I may just go ahead and do the dialogues myself. Wow, that's apparently... Uh... Yeah, I'll just let her do both of those, and I'll save my 300-300 spread for the end of this. Alright, so... There we go. I'm pretty good. I'd like a little more level design, but I really want the AI to stand out here. So, let Sawyer do his thing. And already, Lorraine's getting tired, so she's going to have less production. Probably take a coffee break in the middle of this and tank the project. But yeah, our monthly expenses are huge right now, and we've already released one crappy game, so we don't want to do that again. I wish I had better sound options, but... Uh, world design... We'll keep it kind of there. I mean, it doesn't... Well, we definitely want super awesome, stupidly good graphics. And if I put dude on there, he'll be overworked, so that's going to be me. Yeah, I haven't done a very good job divvying this up, so let's hear. Uh, I guess I can do this myself. Maybe I'd love to have... Let's see here. Yeah, I'll overwork myself a little bit. I'm I'm in charge. We'll even... Well, we'll bump the sound up to about here. It's on the PC. Those Sound Blaster cards from the early 90s can handle... What is it? Four bits of sound? I don't remember. I was in a tech spec guy back then, so we're down to... 400,000. Suddenly the audience, strong audience, is mature. So that could have worked. And now we have the Super NES coming out. So right now our design sucks. So we need to avoid RPGs like the Plague because we don't have the team suited for it. So there we go. No bugs, no bugs. Losing money, but we're putting in a lot more into this kind of finishing phase. So yeah, we knocked that tech part out of the park. Oh, this has to sell, and unfortunately we didn't make our mature game <laughs> before, but I've gained a level. I'd take, I'd cut my pay. I don't need that much pay. I don't know why these people keep taking all my money, but we're gonna release this game. Character progression's available. Take a damn vacation. And right now we're just gonna hope that this horror action game for everybody, Average Joe, Oh, do something good. Do something good for me. Eight. There we go. That's why you upgrade your engine. So we're going to see if going the medium self-publishing route is going to save us, because we don't get, we're not going to get penalized from the publisher. So straight eights across the board, I'll take us even a seven. So there we go. Solid eight for average Joe, which I guess eight in this day and age of video game reviews is average or even below average. I mean, if SimCity can get a 10, I'll stop burning on that game. But there's a lot of times where people say, it's an eight. I'm not going to buy it. You're missing out on stuff. If that's what you're doing. So, sell me something. Rank 11. So we get money. And the nice thing about doing this ourselves is that we get to keep all of the money. And we get to keep all of the fans. So is there anything significant? We need to save some money to research marketing. In fact, I am going to do a... Uh, unless there's a sweet publisher deal here. No, there's not. There's still not. A few of them have rolled over a little bit, but we're not right there yet. We're going to do some contract work. Reason being is that I want to be able to... Ooh, that is a terrible one for us. We want ones with high design. I want to be able to get one more point to research marketing, because if we're publishing things ourselves, it's going to sell. So the PC is a good platform for us. Okay, so just what we wanted, 15,000 to our account, which doesn't sound like a lot because it's not, but we have 40 research, which means now it is time to research marketing. It's important enough to do this now. While we're here, we're going to go ahead and... Oh, no, that was straight for you. So we're going to sit here at the thumb of the butt. As we're getting some fans, slowly but surely. We're back to 1.8 million. And I just got to find a publisher that's willing to do something. And let me stink it up a little bit. There we go. Prison Any Genre. Virtual Pet Action, which could be hilarious. Uh, virtual pets not research though. Pirate and pirate. So, when did we do prison last? Ugh. I don't know. 
Got to get a minimum score of five for a medium-sized game. And we get 9% royalties. The tricky part is that we just did a prison simulation. And we just did an action game. And I'm not sure what other combos would work too well with prison. Hmm. But see, we've already made a million profit on that solid eight. And this could be a good mature game, although I don't think I'll be able to hit that wave in time. So do I risk going for the publishing deal? That's I gotta get a five. Prison any genre. Let's do a prison casual game. Let's get let's give this a shot. I'm gonna do one more prison simulation. Or a prison RPG, but I just said I shouldn't really be doing RPGs right now. Prison strategy would be interesting. But we'll just do we'll do that. We'll target to everyone. And we're gonna we're gonna do this on the PC. I wanna keep my costs down here. I'm gonna do we're gonna make this again so one more prison simulation. Apparently this this is a very depressed company. Good kitty goes in jail. So we'll just call this Oh, there's there's so many Kit in prison. Ah, <laughs> oh, Kit in prison. I think I love you already. It's the prison simulation for cats. Ah, oh, the internet wins again. All right, so what do we do here? We want good engine. We don't care about stories and quests again. I'm actually gonna cut that part because I mean, who 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 has a story where there's some kitty that's there? We want good gameplay and good engine. We're actually gonna try and balance that. So let's put me on the design here. And we'll put Lorraine... We'll put Lorraine on the uh, gameplay, and we'll bump that down a little bit. I know she has a 181 in design, but it's not... it's not the end of the world. We just gotta get a 5, guys. We just gotta get a 5. Stop scratching your head and get the coding. Ugh, oh, well, we're getting some research out of this. I don't know if this is going to be a good game or not. Just by that opening stretch, it wasn't very inspiring. So let's see here. It's it's prison. Let's give it some... Di oh, wait, we're trying to save money. So I want to give it better dialogues, but we're not going to. So let's see here. Level design for the simulation is important, but we want to do AI the most. So if we do that, good old Sawyer is tapped out, and I want to save him for graphics. So we're going to do this and this. And I'm at 100% now. That's okay, though. Lorraine, you can get over there. So, level design and AI. We're going to save uh, Mr. Sawyer. Sawyer? Sawyer? I don't know how you put it for graphics. Average Joe made $1.8 in sales. So, like I said, the audience is still strong and mature, but it's going to, by the time this game's released, that wave's going to disappear. So, $1.3 million profit. And notice that we've gone up here. So publishers, if you can get a good deal, we'll see if this hurts us more than it helps us. Stop drinking your damn coffee. I, I need you. I need you, man. Okay, so 26 and 13. So we have some slack staff here. So that's here. Graphics. We'll bump down the sound a little bit. And the world design. This kind of looks like the game we made last time, I guess. Let's see here. 98, 100, let's, let's see here, we can, we can get this all at 100%, there we go, good balanced management. So we're going to get a bonus for this. And surprise, Sony's coming in, here's the same dude story from before, the Super Nintendo CD drive. Uh, so secret, that's why Secret of Mana had so much content cut out, because it's planned for that. And it's going to be way bigger, I wonder what it would have looked like, but I guess you can play Secret of Mana 3 and find out. Even though that's a Super Nintendo game, so come on, guys. So see, markets normalized, no strong trends. Come on, dude, just just make something. Stop scratching your balls. There we go. So this is not going to be a great game. And it's going to be a buggy game. And the Nintendo's going to be taken off the market. So bugs are gone. Anything else we can get? So there we go. 48, not as good as we did last time. But we get an experience bonus for good management, so we can possibly unlock a few more things. And we should be able to research better graphics, but I'm not going to go beyond three because it's too expensive. Multiplayer and AI companions, get out of here, you idiot. 
Kitty Prison. Five, five. That's all he needs a five. All right. We're going to do good with this publisher deal. We get 9% from the sales. So you don't want to knock it all the way out of the park and miss out on that. But eight, seven, seven, and eight. So a solid 7.5. That is going to get kittens in prison. Um, so we're at 1.4 right now. We started here probably at about 1.8. So we are back. And we get fans, too. That's the thing about going publisher deals, is that you get a lot more fans. So the game meta required ratings. Thank you, Infro Games. Glad to be of service. So see, the, pub, the deal is that you may not get as much money if you strike out, but you can greatly increase your fan thing, which is very, very vital later on in the game. So gain access to some critical systems or competitors. 87 to sabotage. I'm not going to pay that much to sabotage my competitors. I don't care. I don't want to hurt people. So we made 2.6 million off the NES. Congratulations, go us. So that's your... We actually... We actually could have marketed that last game, and we didn't. It's funny that you have a publisher and they're not marketing for you. So we could milk the prison trend a little bit. Or we can just try and make our own game. I mean, I almost want to do a virtual pet action game just because we can. I am going to go ahead and research virtual pet because I want to have these topics. And we're going to research... Let's research pirate because that one seems to be coming up quite a bit. It may by the time all these go. We're up to 3 million. So see, that's what happens when you do well with a publisher deal. 9% is not terrible. Either. So. We could afford to staff ourselves a little more, but for now I will take being in the black here. You just gotta be smart. So it's here. Evolution any game. See? Here we go. Topic. Evolution simulation. No, no. Bad platforms. Rhythm any genre. Could be good. But you gotta get a score of an 8. That is so tough. Uh, I don't know if I can get an 8. Because if I were to do rhythm, that would obviously require me to do some kind of stuff with graphics and design and gameplay. And my staff is ill-suited for that. So we're going to develop our own game here. And it's going to be a medium game, not a small game. So let's see. What have we not done lately? So we haven't done an RPG. We haven't done much in the way of strategy. Let's do a strategy game. Hmm. What kind of strategy game? A prison strategy game. No, virtual pet strategy game could actually be pretty good. But I kind of want to save save that. So we'll do a military strategy game. Haven't definitely haven't done that in a while. And you know what? I've been doing pretty good sales-wise on the PC for what it costs. So I will do this with the Alley Cat. Let's see here. This is military strategy. I almost want to do pirate strategy, but we can just we can just kind of box this in and call this the high seas as someone makes it. <laughs> you said high. Joke. So there we go. They're not all going to be cat themed games, but apparently Kitten Prison is selling us for us very well. So let's see here. A military strategy. So I guess we want a little more story here. So we'll tap that back in. We'll give steering wheel support. No, we won't. Uh, let's see here. So we want we want a decent engine and we want a decent story. But I can't just do everything. We want gameplay to be top notch though. So let me go ahead and put myself on there since I have the best design. And we'll put you there. Let's see. The engine doesn't have to be super balls or anything. So. We'll just go ahead and get Lorraine on both of those. So, we get... We're at a lot more fans than we were because we went through a publisher. Because that's the thing, you get a broader reach and eventually... See... But you gotta pick and choose your publisher deals because I burned it last game by picking some bad combos that I knew were bad combos. Let's see here. Do I need... Let's do better dialogues here. I don't really need a lot of dialogue, like points. It's kind of just like 10,000 for crap, I guess. And I want this to be an interesting strategy. So let's, let's, 
Uh, AI is going to be more important than level design, though, so. Ah. So, yeah, we'll do that. Good enough for me. So, military strategy where you're on a boat, yeah. Kitten Prison sold 2.2 million copies. There we go. So, there we go. All kinds of research points as well, which is what we want. So, for the strategy heads here, I guess it's going to be a little more balanced. So, we want graphics and sound. I'll go ahead and We'll go ahead and keep these pretty balanced. We'll just put sound here. I do want graphics to be uber, though, so... There we go. Brain. I'm better at design, so I'll do a little there. Not as good project management as last time, but... It, the Getting the balancing only affects development experience. It doesn't affect sales. And so it doesn't really matter too much. But this is a really good game for research, but unfortunately we haven't done too great in getting our little points up here, so... So let's see here, a few more, one extra bug, let's take care of that. Two bugs, three bugs! No, that was the other way around, so... No new record, new combo, and great combo, though. So we're gaining some experience here. When we get Sawyer to level up... And he's going to cost us more money. And now we can get Stereo Sound. So High Seas, this is our own released game. Please get good scores. Alright, so we're doing some solid 8s now. Good, good, good. If only I would released that on any platform. Is that going to be a 9? Nope, 8. So not bad, not bad at all. Military and strategy is a great combination. So another solid 8. We are doing better than we did last time. We started at about 3 million... And we're just in time for the casual wave to be popular. So if I could send people, yeah, go ahead and go on vacation. I can't do that to you right now. But we are, look, we're not getting nearly as many fans, but we are generating sales. So this is good for keeping us afloat. I guess what we need to do is to keep this balanced. And once again, I keep forgetting to market these games. Crap, because I have the money to do it now. So let's see here, rhythm any genre, evolution any genre, any topic, casual, evolution simulation. I really, we're just going to research rhythm real quick, screw it. I know I just said I shouldn't do it, but if I can get a good sale here. Okay, so we'd like to go to games, 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 there we go. I feel like a putz for not marketing my games because I could have actually gotten higher sales. So yeah, if I can just get this started. Go. Stop. Stop reading your crap. It's a rhythm game. It's not that hard. I know I don't have any rhythm. Okay, so I gotta get an 8. See, these other things are 6-6. Six, six. Any topic casual, medium, minimum score 5. But I'll have to pay the royalty stuff. So we're gonna shoot for the moon here. We're gonna see if we can get another 8. Alright. And it's going to bite us in the ass if we don't, but we're up to 4 million just about. And it's 13% royalties no matter what. So as long as we don't stink it up. This is going to be a rhythm casual game for the PC using Alley Cat 2. Medium for everyone. And we're just... Uh, we're going to go Warriors on this. Can you dig it? Yeah, that's a that's a good movie. Warriors! No, I won't go there. So let's see here. That cat, that doesn't matter. Story doesn't matter. It's a rhythm game, guys. So we're just gonna put Sotown on these things as, and just do as little as possible here. We just want to bump this up. I don't know why I put linear story in there, but... Okay, apparently there's a linear story in this game, so I hope that doesn't hurt my review. So I think adding in some features like that can actually harm your game more than help it sometimes. So we're getting a lot of research points here. That's great. So better dialogues. I'm not going to worry about that, even though we have a linear story in there. So let's see here. It's 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 a rhythm game. It's it's kind of you don't have to program a lot for it. So level design. And I'm going to blow my face off here. I'm at 135 already, so it's going to be up to these two to carry the rest of the weight. 
So overwork, underpaid. This is why we need to get more staff, I think. Because i got to get an 8 here, and I don't know if that's going to happen. The high seas is off the market, and we sold 150,000, which is like, oh, that's not a lot, but 1 million in change in sales is amazing. Especially after we were doing so terribly last time. Because we're getting fans. Let me actually remember to market this. I can actually afford a small campaign now, so... Can you dig it? Part 3. Graphics is what people want. Sound. Who gives a flying bleep? So let's see here. Lorraine, get over here. I say get over here. Do the sound for me. It's a rhythm game, so I think sound's going to be pretty important. But not as important as graphics. I don't think so. Can you dig it? We got 12 hype, 13 hype in this game. So maybe it's what people want. I don't know. And we get to do games, games, games. I gotta take a quick pause here. Alright, so now we have the game convention choice. Do We have 3.4 million. Do I want to blow half a million dollars worth of game development for a medium booth? Or do I want to just go for a small booth for 80,000? To be honest, we don't have a ton of fans, and this could be great exposure. But... I think I'm going to have to go with the small booth, because there's no guarantee that I'll release this game by the time... Or, actually, this game is probably going to miss the window entirely. So we'll just go with the small booth. See what we can do to help it out. Because, yeah, I think it's like the second week in June or something. I can try and hold the release, but I don't want to miss this popular wave of stuff, so... Bugs... Yeah, because it's kind of like the popular genre, that'll get me a lot of sales. And it looks like I did pretty good. I got a lot of experience. Holy crap balls, that's a lot of experience. So let's release this game. And you get a raise. Lorraine, I'm going to need to start thinking about you here. We just got 2D level 4, we got all this stuff available. Lorraine, talk to me here. You, uh... Let me look at the staff list, so it's here. 107 in monthly cost. Staff list. Lorraine is adequate in these two, but she's not great. She still develops fast, so she's probably on the chopping block once I get a little more experience here, because she's really expensive for what she brings to the table. But I gotta get an 8. Can I do it? Oh, 8. Gotta, gotta get an 8, gotta get an 8. Oh no, 7. So I gotta get a 9 somewhere or I'm fucked. Ugh, oh, so close. Gotta get a 10. Ah, oh, so we are just under the 8 threshold, so they're gonna take a lot of money, but I get 13% royalty. And... If I had just waited a few more weeks, maybe I could have gotten some hype, but Can You Dig It is an E3. Good thing I opted for the small booth. So I mistimed that one a little bit. So we're just going to see how this game sells. We're going to call this a quick episode here. We got, a, we got a few people visiting, so let's see here. How good did we do? Oh, that is good. Rank 7. Just tons of money flowing in. That is great. Oh, wow, wait. It met the requirements? It met the requirements? I guess they rounded up to an 8. I did not know that would happen, so I get to keep all of my money, of which I have made a ton so far. So our last three games, last four games, have made us money. Cannot complain about that. Can you dig it? I know I can. That costs 107... See, P developing for the PC has been really good for me lately. Kind of getting away from the Game Boy here. And I have a lot of research pooled. And I don't know what the publishers have here. Rhythm strategy, not very good. Any topic adventure, I may do that. Just because it's 10%. But we're going to call this an episode for now. And I hope you all have enjoyed it. And I will see you all in the future where maybe this time we won't go into bankruptcy. That would be awesome. Take care.